Hi guys and um, welcome back. Um, as you can see from the beginning clip that I was in A&E hospital um, yesterday. I didn't really want to do this video at home so I thought I'd do it now on my way to work. Um, Thursday night, so it's currently it's Saturday today. Um, Thursday night I started with a shooting paint um, downstairs in the JJ. Got in the bath, thought that would ease it, didn't, just got worse. Um, and then the cramps were like more to, they were obviously down there but then they also started in my tummy but at the left side. Um, I then got out of the bath and I went really lightheaded, really dizzy. Jess had to sit me down on the toilet because I thought I was going to pass out and it was just like a proper head rush. Like, I don't know, just everything just went, do you know? It, it was like I was super, super, super drunk. Um, so anyway, I was all right after about five minutes, um, but it was a bit, a bit concerning. But anyway, went to bed last night, what, that night, sorry, watched a bit of telly in bed with Jess and then we fell asleep. Um, and then that morning, I woke up and I'd started bleeding. So I was a bit like, oh, well, we knew this was going to happen. The lines haven't been getting darker. Um, oh, backtrack to me going to the toilet anyway. I actually gone to the toilet to collect some wee because some of you had commented about the hook effect um, where your pregnancy test doesn't show as dark. Um, because your HCG levels are so high um, that you're supposed to like put a bit of water in, in your wee and dilute it a little bit so that and then apparently your lines are stronger. So I told Jess about, about this and everything and we was like all right yeah we'll give it a go. So I held my wee because I'd been up at three o'clock that morning um, so I held my wee till like ten o'clock um, in the morning, so a good seven hour hold. Um, anyway, went to the toilet and I wiped and there was blood. Um, wasn't spotting, it was like the start of the period. It was pink, not red, pink. Um, but that's usually on my period start anyway, like you wipe for a day or two and it's pink and then it gets a bit heavier for a day and then it lights, lightens up again and stops. Um, but yeah, so called Jason to the bathroom and I was, you know, and I said, well, we knew this was going to happen, do you know, the lines haven't been getting darker, um, yeah, shit really, so, anyway, these pains started again, and it was all on my left side, and it was like, my, my pelvis and everything, um, really low in my tummy, like my pelvic bone, sorry, anyway, um, and uh, our NHS 111, which is like um, for you that live in America and abroad and stuff, it's NHS, obviously, it's like free healthcare that we get in the UK. Um, and they give you like basically advice over the phone and tell you what steps to take if you need to go to the hospital, if you need to just ring your GP, um, or they'll get a doctor to ring you back. Anyway, they said that they wanted me to go to the hospital within the hour. So I had to take Olivia, there's a horse here, I'll just slow right down. Um, I had to take Olivia to um, nursery early because obviously, oh that's dropped again hasn't it, sorry. Um, I had to take Olivia to nursery early so that I could go to the hospital. But the only thing is at our hospitals because it's NHS and it's free and obviously it's accident and emergencies A and E. Um, the waiting times are ridiculous, but it's obviously not their fault. You know, we get our healthcare for free. What we can't whinge. Um, but yeah, so I sat there for like four hours, and they only did my blood pressure and took a urine sample. And I kept saying, look, can we just hurry things on a little bit long? Do you know, I've got to pick my daughter up soon from nursery at three o'clock. And she's, it's a Christmas play thing and she gets to see Santa. And I really don't want to miss it. It's a first, you know, sorry. It's a first. I don't really don't want to miss it. Um, but yeah, I waited another 40 minutes. Um, and they still hadn't 
sent my urine sample to the gynecologist or anything they'd not come to take my bloods or anything and I said well what's going on and, he, and the doctor just turned around and said well I'm on my own here I've got all these patients outside and I was like right well I'm gonna have to really go then because if you pull me in now it's not going to be fair because I'll just have to leave before you get to do anything if you get to send me to the early pregnancy department I'll literally I'll get in there and I'll have to go to go pick Olivia up from nursery so I just left um, but they had said to me before I'd gone that it was a suspected ectopic and to treat me as ectopic until proven otherwise. Got home, picked a little bit from nursery, um, had a bath because at this point obviously my blood was only pink still when wiping. Um, it, towards the end of the night it did turn slightly, well it did turn red. Um, but still not enough to go onto a pad. It's literally just sorry, sounds bright. Um, not enough to go onto a pad. It's literally just when you wipe, um, and it's just like yeah, no dropping into the toilet, no clots, no nothing. Anyway, um, I had a bath last night. Um, and then had some ice cream because ice cream always makes me feel better when I got to my cramps. Um, sorry, just trying to sort this out. So yeah, um, last night the cramps really like slackened off, but they'd moved from like the left side, which I was having the most problems at, to the right. So I had the both at the left and the right, and in the middle and in the bottom of my back. So I was like, right, well it's not a topic then because it's not staying at one side. It's literally all over now, and it's cramping. It's like period cramps a little bit more severe than period cramps um so yeah i went to bed last night woke up this morning everything stopped the bleeding slowed right down it's still there it's still red but it's slowed it's even less than what it was yesterday and the cramps and everything have stopped so i have phoned my um i have phoned my gp uh, not my gp my midwife sorry and I've basically said that sorry there's a speed count so I'm like trying not to speed and also trying to not make it look too obvious that I'm like I don't know the speed anyway so yeah the cramps everything can stop this morning so I've found the midwife and I've said basically explained everything and that I ended up going to any everything last night and she said that Sometimes you can bleed and cramp in early pregnancy and don't know the reason why. Um, but sometimes it can be the start of a miscarriage. Um, and obviously I'm personally more swayed to this being a miscarriage because I've already had two before. I know how I feel, know what they're like. Although this is slightly different. This is like, maybe it's happened a lot quicker than we're ever and done with within a week. But this is sort of like, I'd have been bleeding more by now and I'd have been losing clots and tissue. I hope you can see me, I'm sorry the sun's behind me now. Um, but yeah, so this doesn't seem to be like, I don't know. This is why I'm choosing to go to work because I'm just gonna take it steady. I want something to take my mind off it. I've been really, really emotional, really, really upset. Um, I wanted to do a video yesterday, but I knew that I'd just end up rubbing all over the video and that's no fun for anyone to watch. So yeah. Who knows? The midwife has advised for me to take a test in two weeks time to see what's going on. I did take a pregnancy test this morning. It was still positive. It was still as dark as it has been. Uh, no darker. So, I don't know what's going on. Probably is like an impending miscarriage. Like, I'll probably start bleeding really heavily in the next couple of days. But yeah, so I thought I'd just update you guys. Um, me and Jess are gonna obviously continue trying. Um, I think we just need this week to sort of like recover and yeah. Jess has took it really well. Um, we've, I think we're both dealing with it in our own way. Um, and when one deals with it different to the other, sometimes it can be very irritating to the other person. So Jace is dealing with it really well. He's like trying to cheer me up, but he's been too overly happy, too overly bubbly. 
And when I'm upset, I'm just like, why are you so happy? Do you know? But I know my hormones are everywhere, emotions are everywhere, so I can't take it out on him. And he, at the end of the day, he's just trying to cheer me up, trying to take my mind off things. Um, but yeah, obviously he's sad, but he's doing a bit in his own way. And like he says, there's nothing we can do. It's not the end of the world. Um, it happens to thousands and thousands and thousands of women all over the world. So, and it usually means that maybe there was something wrong with the baby. Um, so, and it's your body way of saying, do you know, this is a poorly baby, let's try again or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, right guys, I'll update you again. Um, let you know how this bleeding's going on, let you know how things are going. If we end up confirming that we've miscarried, 